I'm, I'll call the to order. Um, hopefully <laughs> that uh, we can be joined shortly by um, Carla. Uh, so um, uh, I, Robert Wernick, I'm the chair. Tour Nelson, member of the board. Um, okay, uh, Sean Cunningham from O'Leary Burke. Matt Moore, Evernorth. Uh, David Roy with Weeman Lafayette Architects. Kevin Warden, Engineering Ventures, Civil Engineer. Uh, Chuck Storo, Attorney for Ber Berlin Mall. Dave Sawyer, Select Wood. And Tom Badowski, Town of Berlin. And we have the Orca videographer here as well. <coughs> I'm trying, Carla says she's trying to get on. <coughs> she's trying to get on? Yeah. Oh, good. Christy, Carla, Nuizel, and Ken Simon will be joining us here. Okay. You there, Carla? No, there. There she is. Hey. She's coming. <laughs> She's muted. Carla, you good here now? Yeah, you wouldn't let me in. Well, there's a the reason. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of that. Yeah, we try to keep the place no, civil. <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, we have uh, two items on our agenda tonight, um, uh, both dealing with uh, applications uh, by Berlin Mall. Uh, uh, the first is the uh, uh, Down Street Development uh, uh, downstreet community development um, and the um, and there's also a uh, in connection with that a major subdivision and I guess because things have been a long time since we've met and talked I'm going to ask somebody representing the applicant mm -hmm. to start this off and put us back into perspective sure sure I'd be uh, I'd be glad to glad to do that um, I think it was December 21st when <laughs> last, <laughs> we had, last year we were here last year mm -hmm. um, and that was the first the first hearing uh, excuse you know, everyone for, for our, our recording secretary when you speak can you say your name before you're speaking so she can get sure the minutes correct sorry sorry this is Matt Moore with Evernorth uh, one of the uh, we're the development partner uh, co-developer uh, with Downstreet Housing and Community Development. Uh, Nicola Anderson uh, is here on the screen uh, with Downstreet. Uh, if I'm remembering, you know, correctly back from December, uh, at that time, we, we didn't get you our plans in time uh, for, for you to really give our application uh, due consideration at that meeting. Uh, that being said, we went through a presentation with the concept plan uh, that we had at the time. And, and this for everybody's application is for the Fox Run project. Right. right. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. So. So our project has, we've advanced with, with design. Uh, we were hoping to, to come back to the DRB uh, in, in March. Uh, however, uh, that was delayed to allow time for the town meeting uh, and the vote to happen on the school land which is related to the ability of the mall to relocate the road. Uh, our project remains the same. 30 units, one building. Uh, you'll see tonight that the, the site plan uh, uh, has made some minor refinements, but it is essentially the, sa the same project. Uh, we, we have a full landscape plan, um, and 
really we we have a complete application that would be enough for the DRB uh, to close the hearing for our project. But the mall, the other project, uh, as I understand it, uh, they're making some changes and, and weren't prepared to, or in, in time, to, to submit those changes for consideration tonight. Yes, uh, can I? So, if I can just continue. So, as I understand it, tonight we're really talking about the Fox Run project. You understand the application is for more than the Fox Run project. It's really for two separate projects as well as road work. So, so the applicant really is the mall because they're the property yes. owner. Correct. So I, I appreciate this, but it would, just for the record, um, uh, we need to distinguish that a little bit. I totally agree. As you said, there's two, two separate projects, and the mall is the applicant on... Both projects. On... <coughs> Well, in this, <laughs> the, the, and this brings me to what I what, uh, was anticipating and, and hoping to, to say before we got into the substance, uh, right, of, of, of our project is to seek some clarification uh, procedurally uh, uh, on uh, how the the approvals, uh, if if so approved, uh, would would be would be would be granted, and the conundrum that we have, where there's two separate projects, and Fox Run needs to have its own permits, its own approvals. It can be under one big application, but we need to have distinct approvals for for the separate applications. There's two sub, as I understand it, two subdivisions: conditional use application for Fox Run. There's a conditional use application for the mall. There's a site plan for Fox Run, site plan approval and site plan approval for for the Starbucks. And and under the the the, the bylaws the DRB may combine review, which is what which is what has been done because that makes makes the most sense because the projects are related. Uh, however, uh, similar to two homes being planned on a street One house has to get owned separately and financed separately and built separately with a separate contractor. Yes, they're related. They're going to drive cars out the same street, perhaps, but they, they would need to have their separate and distinct uh, approvals that, at least in my mind, is what we were ex we were is what is what we're is what we're expecting. Mr. Chairman, this is Jason Lazar. I'd like to speak on behalf of the applicant and 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 maybe redirect this if if I may. Please. So you had you know asked for a refresher as to sort of where we are and how we how we got there. And I, I think we maybe head headed down a very specific path that I, I'm not sure paints the entire picture, right? Here uh, back in December, with a project, a mixed-use priority housing project. So you, you're you're aware of the two projects. And Matt has referenced, you know, the affordable housing. Um, we have had asked for a continuance. Uh, first, we were we were both charged uh, as co-applicants to respond to comments that we've heard, and we were we were prepared to do that. This has also been a very fluid situation. And in fact, I remember one of the issues that came up. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, I think it was the chairman that said, and, uh, you know, we see that your plan proposed a reconfigured road. And what if that doesn't happen? Do you have a plan B? Um, and, and essentially, right, what we want to get to is the plan B. Provide for plan A, also for plan B. 
um, as the situation had been fluid. But we didn't want to stop uh, our collective ability to respond to comments. And so what we wanted to accomplish at this at tonight's hearing was for the Fox Run portion of this application to respond uh, and walk you through the subset of issues related to uh, that piece of the project. And, th and that's why we're here today. So we do have changes to the plan that does recognize you know, changing circumstances. And because we couldn't get those changes in in time, um, we'll have to present that you know, at the next possible uh, opportunity. But since Fox Run has, has his plans and is prepared to speak on them, we thought that would help advance the ball tonight. Bob? Yeah, Carla, please. So I have to, I have to know, or I have to ask what these changes are because if you're submitting a new application, we need a new hearing with a new warning. We are, we are not submitting a new application. Not you, yeah. uh, man. I'm talking about. I'm, re I'm directing this at Jason. Yeah. Again, we're modifying a plan. Uh, nothing is. Or I shouldn't say nothing. Right. The the scope of what we're attempting to do is similar to what you guys have seen before. What is the modification? We are asking, well, again, you're, you know, we, we wanted to submit that so then you could then hear it and ask questions about it. But essentially it recognizes the road One. and the current configuration. We recognize that the new town center uh, relies on a reconfigured road. Uh, and we watched to see if that could be accomplished. Um, we recognize that the reconfiguration of that road relies on us transferring a part of our land to make that parcel developable. Um, we've proposed a number of ways to make that happen. We're, we're interested in making that happen, but we don't see it today. Uh, we're happy to continue to work at it, but we want to get the project, our collective project, which doesn't require the road relocated. Uh, we'd like to get that approved and move forward on that basis. I'm having trouble understanding how that can happen, but I guess maybe I'm one of five. Well, I, 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 I share that concern, Carla. I mean, I, I would like to hear where we are with regard to this applicant, uh, this part of your application, but it really is part of a bigger application. So I, I don't know how technically, ulti ultimately, when we get to the bottom line here, how we can approve a part of an application and not separate the application. Um, I, I'm, I'm wrestling with that and I, I, have, I, have, I don't think I've ever been faced with this problem before. Um, if this were a separate application by Ever North and the uh, mall, uh, we could hear that and, and, and we still hear it, but perhaps there's an administrative thing that needs to be done here which separates us. Yeah, if I might, Bob, Kevin Warden with Engineering Ventures, civil engineer on behalf of Fox Run. Um, I've seen this before where a project starts off as one and then it's clear that it needs to be bifurcated. And looking at the application, Tom, all of the information for both sites is on that application. I've seen it be as simple as photocopy the application and, you know, because you're going to have two files. There's actually two current applications in front of you. One is for the subdivision, which needs to be considered and, you know, run through before you can consider individual lots. And then there's distinct lots, which each need to live on their own in the future separately, um, because you'll have different time frames, as we're seeing tonight. You're going to have them advance differently. You're going to have something that comes up uh, that's going to slow down one or accelerate the other. You're going to have uh, different periods of construction and the town is going to have to issue um, you know certificate of occupancies um, and that's can be challenging if they're bound together in one permit and then you have other things such as funding which Matt alluded to that probably has strings attached especially with affordable housing um, that could complicate things but I'm happy to um, go over the plan I, I did not bring a board I thought we might be using a screen but I the main thing I wanted to convey as a civil engineer is the plan for Fox Run is entirely discreet and can be reviewed and constructed and infrastructure can be provided uh, discreet from the other project if, if that's a concern or a consideration. Tom. It, I, I just wonder if we're to the point now where 
both parties agreed to separate those applications, pull, 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 the, pull the application for the co-development, co each file their own separate applications, each then can do site plan and conditional use on their own separate tracks, not independent of each other. I, I, to me, my sense is that this may be a waste of, of this board's time hearing this tonight if ultimately the decision is to go separately. Because if it goes separately, it has to be rewarned again. It has to, you have to give public notice. It has to have, you know, you have to go through that regulatory process. And, and, and my concern is that, that the, the Fox Run project may be so ahead of the, the, of the Berlin Mall, we haven't seen what they're planning here, right? And it's been four months, right? Uh, so, so I just wonder if, if you or your clients have given that consideration that that may be the best alternative for everybody. Now, all fees get returned to everybody. You know, there's no loss of monies. Uh, uh, you, you go through the, the warning uh, process again. I, I'm just saying that that may be the easiest solution to this. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Chair, if I may, please. So you know, that, that's the thing, that's the decision that the Berlin Mall and the Box Run folks need to work out among themselves. It's not a discussion for the board. Tonight, all you have in front of you is the one application that includes Starbucks and Box Run. Berlin Mall folks are not prepared tonight to give their full presentation on what they're proposing. We're proposing to come back the first meeting in May and give you all the information that we have. So I think your choice tonight is you can't give an approval because you don't have all the information. All you can elect to do tonight is listen to the additional information that Fox Run is prepared to give and then continue the meeting to the next available date so that you can hear the remainder of the Berlin Mall Associates proposal. But we're not here to talk about splitting the applications. You've got one application that's worn. That's all you can act on tonight. Uh, yeah, Tom, did you have a response to that? You look like no, I no, I I understand that, Paul. But I'm just saying, if if the parties are agree uh, agreeable to split, and may, maybe they're not, uh, that well, that's the rub, Tom. Is they're not necessarily agreeable at this point in time to split. Yeah, it might and you're right. That's a that's a decision for you. But we have to decide if this if the application is going to change enough that we have to rewarn it. Uh, well, I agree. Yeah. yeah. And we don't know that you do, but w w you know, I think that's also that the, that's something for the board to consider: is do we just say, okay, no more continuances, because it, this isn't happening, we aren't seeing it all? Do we need to just scrap this continuing and you and get refiled? Please. Thank you, Chair. This is exactly why we need. To have separate approvals. Case in point, we have an applicant who says they are changing the plan and it's been four months and we find out about it at the last minute. We, the bottom line for us is that we need to be able to get our permits for our building, get it financed cleanly, unrelated to Starbucks. We can't have any conditions that relate to Starbucks, otherwise our deal is done. And we need to be able to build the road, we need to be able to get a certificate of occupancy clearly for our building and, and move people in there. So to, if I can just finish, thank you. This is a really, this is a very good discussion. If, 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 if the board is seeing that it needs to be, that it cannot amend the current application and issue separate approvals, and it's better for us to have a separate application, then I think it's best for us not to waste anybody's time tonight. We will go home and we will come back uh, in two weeks. We have submitted our plan. That's what we're running with. The, um, 
ball. How do you feel about that? Separate these. This is, this is really not a, I, I don't think this is the proper discussion for us to have it. You know, we've, we've spoken about this with our partner. We've, we've talked about it numerous times. Clearly we're still evolving, but it's not the path we've chosen. I, I'm going to, you're, you're, you're really asking for a decision from the DRB here, which I think in my opinion needs to be deliberated by the DRB and, and issue whether or not we proceed. I, I mean, you're all here. I would love to see what changes are. I would love to have an understanding of those changes, but I don't see how we can act on those changes until we clarify what the application is. So do we do that tonight, or do we do that once we've had a change in app, a reapplication, if you will? Mm -hmm. And, and I, I, there's a part of me that says, I hate to waste everybody's time being here, but um, we're here, and we're, we're, that's something we can't deal with. Uh, we can't make an ultimate decision on, so perhaps we should just reward it separately, uh, and the applicants, uh, co-applicants, need to get a new application in here, and we'll just warn it that way. And we'll separate them mm -hmm. and deal with that this way. Um, I, that's my that's my gut reaction. I'm just talking out loud as one person on the board. If you need a decision on the board, we probably need to deliberate this decision. Uh, how do you feel, Carla? You know, I, I, I've never dealt with this, but I just, I'm uncomfortable entertaining the idea of continuing an application that we, that is substantial, that's going to be changed. And I do think that this split is, is an issue and it seems as though there's not agreement. And I don't think we should necessarily be deciding that for them, but I don't know why Fox Run doesn't have the option of filing on their own. I mean, is that something that they don't have the option to do? <laughs> I, think, I think they do have that option. Yeah, that's that's the way I'm inclined. What do you think, Tour? I'm not ignoring you, Polly, but he's right here. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> you guys are all the legal eagles. I don't know about that, but uh, yeah, I agree. I don't see how we can move forward. You know, with the application as presented, if uh, you know we're looking at a potential split or major changes down the road. I, you know. I mean, I, you know, I'm here, I wouldn't mind hearing what you have, the vision for Fox Run tonight, but that's all it's going to be, it's just a vision, it's not going to be anything more in depth than that, but the pro the basically, 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 Right? We've done them. We haven't submitted because they're not timely. Right? If we submitted them this morning, that wouldn't be timely. It wouldn't ask you to look at something without you know, the proper time. Um, I, and I want to speak on behalf of my design professionals. Uh, but they contain things that this board has seen before. Um, so I, I wouldn't just say, oh, well, we don't know what's coming and there are going to be changes and, and make that label dictate the course of action. All the things I think you're going to see are going to be familiar to you. Well, I don't know. I, I mean, I you know we you know we have our packet from the first hearing, then we got another packet a few weeks after that, and then yesterday there was another email. I don't know how much that changed from the previous. So, you know, I, I don't even know at this point what we're dealing with anymore. Well, the problem is, is we're dealing with an application that really involves access roadways two projects one application two projects two separate projects and um, and and my sense is um, uh, not projects are proceeding on the same course uh, if that's a, if that's a, if that's a reasonable statement of where we are then we probably need to separate the projects and reward them separately so we can just simply deal with one project at a time. Um, same applicants, but it's just a different project in that it only deals with Fox Run. Well, is, is that my, yeah, but, and my, yeah, thought, my thought is that they need to dis decide about separating, but we can't make a decision on a half a project. So, I mean, we couldn't issue a decision tonight if we don't have all the information. 
on both halves. You're, you're correct. Scott, so Fox Run could submit an application independent. Yeah, no, but, they, but they haven't they, yet. They have that right to do that, right? Yeah. And, and well, they and the mall, there's still mall no, property. Just, oh, excuse me, Mr. Chairman. So Fox Run could submit uh, an application just for their site plan and conditional use on their own. They could submit it tomorrow if they wanted to. That's our vision. And, and, and um, the mall then would have to decide that their, their co-applicant is not going to participate in this original, in their original filing and, and address that somehow, right? The, but, but they have, we, we have no right to tell Fox Run that they cannot submit an application. We, we have no right to say that. Well, this should be clear. The only person who can submit an application is the yeah, property owner. They, they Correct. Do. Correct. They Correct. They cannot submit unless Berlin Mall Associates signs the application as the property owner. Correct. What we would like, Mr. Chairman, is a continuation to the May 3rd meeting. On May 3rd, we will have all the plans available to present. We'll give them to you three weeks in advance so you can review them. We'll tell you our entire scope of work, what we're proposing for the site work, what we're proposing for Starbucks, and what Fox Run is proposing at that time. The whole kit and caboodle on May 3rd, we're prepared to go forward with that. But we'd be asking for a continuation tonight. One more continuation, you'll get the whole bit May 3rd. And I'm going to be very frank. The problem I'm having with this is that you know what your changes are, and you could have at least given us a heads up as to what they are, but you won't, so that we could decide whether it was a substantial change. So I have a little bit of an issue with that. But they all just have to, you know, hope that it's not, because the, I mean, there's a possibility if it is, then that delays it even more. The worst case for us is come May 3rd, you decide it's a major change and you ask us to we rewarn the meeting and start or rewarn the project and start from the beginning. But I, I just would request that you continue us to May 3rd so we can make our presentation to you. We have the plans complete, but they weren't complete until Friday. We didn't feel it was fair to send that down to the town and ask for a review for the plans two or three days before the meeting. It's sort of a continuation of how my whole day has gone today. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but um, yeah, Tom, I, 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 I'm almost at the end of where I want to be, though. <laughs> the May 3rd docket is full, so outside of this application. So, so that would mean the 17th. Okay. That's acceptable to us. Pardon? That's acceptable to us, the May 17th. Okay. I, I don't know that we have any reason not to grant the applicant's request for a continuation to May 17th. Does, you, any, does any member of the board feel that, that we have no reason to do that? I have no problem with that. No, it's their decision. I think, uh, um, Carla, you look like you're <laughs> up in the air there. I'm not in favor of it, but I, you, you guys, you will outvote me, so that's fine. Well, Carla, no, I, I think, um, uh, what, what would you, would you propose to hear? I, I think you're right. They haven't given us grounds to, to, to just to not continue it because they didn't show us the changes. So. I, I would say you're probably right. We don't have an, a reason not to continue it. Right. By design. I, our project is fully funded, including ARPA funding. There is a massive need for housing in the community. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that have been behind this for years and want to see this get built. That being said, I'm fine with May 17th. 
because in the big picture, I think we will be fine. What's important to me, and I'm not asking tonight for any action, but what we need is assurance and an understanding of how our project can move forward independently if it needs to. And right now, that is not clear to me. I think you need to have ownership of, of your piece of ground through a subdivision, right? Because it sounds to me that the, the mall would not sign your application, and that happens commonly, where the landowner will, will sign somebody else's application, right? All the time. Mm -hmm. and, All the time. But Sounds like they're not willing to do that. So my answer to you would be you need to get ownership of that land free and clear, and then you could submit an application. We will not purchase the property until it's fully permitted and fully financed. And our investors will not say yes to a project if there is a, if there is a set of zoning approvals and building permits and certificate of occupancy that are meshed together with conditions, and it's confusing. I appreciate that. And very frankly, I, I'm i not happy with the delays that we've seen on this project uh, for one reason or another. Um, and I'm, so I'm not, not happy about delaying it further, but it makes sense to me at this point, at least to me as one member of the board, that we continue this to the May 17th so we can sort this out. Yeah. And, but I do think perhaps sorting it out might be by separating them. That's, that's my opinion. I would, I, would, I would continue to hear it together if we want to continue it that way. But there may be a good argument for, um, and it's something you need to work out with them all. To me, there's a good argument for separating them. Uh, you know? Because uh, you need to move forward. For the reasons you stated, so I'm inclined to grant the request for continuance. But I ask you to consider seriously: is how you continue this, or do we rewarn it? Because we have time now, mm -hmm. rewarn it separately. It's two separate projects. Um, one project involving this building, this site, mm -hmm. and the other project involving the other building and the other. Uh, and, and, and part of that is access and mobility, but um, that's, they're, they're connected, so. And, we're, and I'm sorry to, 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 to jump in without recognition from you here, but I want to say that, that we want to, we are happy to, we want to, we want the board to hear our separate applications as a combined review. We want you to keep looking at the project as a whole because it is, it will operate as a whole. All we're asking for is the ability to, to move forward. So I think we can have our cake and eat it too. We can combine the review for coordination purposes. We're happy to delay again if it's it, if it's if it if it's clearly understood by everyone that there's a clear path for us, and we need to understand that uh, soon because we want to go to Act 250. We want to get our wa water wastewater permit. We want to. Uh, we're waiting to start our construction drawings until this gets resolved. We want to get to work. Yeah. Matt, the hurdle's not the town of Berlin. No. It's, it's your relationships, your, your collective relationships. You guys need to get your house in order and decide what, what's best to do. I, I, that's, it's not the town of Berlin. The town of Berlin cannot do what you are asking it to do. It, it, it can't. It just can't, it can't do that. It can't, it can't, grant, it can't grant you uh, an approval if you don't own, own the land, right? So you got to do the subdivision, you know, I don't know why we're not here in the subdivision tonight. That had, had nothing to do with any of this stuff. We're not here in the subdivision. Uh, 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 again, uh, it's, it's not the town of Berlin that's the hurdle here. It's really not. 
It's your relation. It's your two relationships. You guys need to work out that relationship. Tom, sorry, I just said Sean Cunningham, uh, yes. O'Leary Burke, uh, representing them all. Subdivision couldn't take place because potentially the the uh, property lines, my proposed property lines, may change. So that can couldn't really be talked about either. Well, I'm inclined to uh, hear a motion to approve a continuance. So moved. To May 17th. To May 17th. Second. Second by Polly. Is there a discussion on that motion? Further discussion on that motion? Uh, hearing none, all those in favor of that motion to continue this to the 17th, uh, which is both, both parts, subdivision and the... Um, doesn't have to be the subdivision, but no. the town. But no, it doesn't have to be. Um, so, um, but I'm assuming it is. Yep. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm going to suggest we uh, do that. Uh, so, all those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? I'm abstaining. Um, Polly vote? Yes, I didn't. Polly vote? Yeah, yes. Polly vote? Yes. Poly, yeah, yeah. Uh, normally, when you don't have a um, uh, uh, concurrence, you have to do a roll call. So, Polly, how do you vote? In favor. Tour, how do you vote? In favor. Carla. I abstain. You abstain, and the chair votes in favor. Uh, so the motion carries, and we are continued to the 17th on both applications. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. I don't think there's any other business. I, there is one, one item of business, which is the minutes. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Minutes of <laughs> February 15th. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> it was a continuance. It was a continuance. So it's it's um. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's nothing. Okay. Uh, okay. And I have it in front of me, so I'm going to make the motion to approve the minutes of February 15th. I'll second. Um. Discussion. Edits. Hearing none. All those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Carly, you with us or not? Aye. Sorry, I was on you. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem with Zoom. I'm trying to look at the zoning regulations and listen to you at the same time. <laughs> <sighs> well, I'm sorry. Go ahead, come here. She was Zoomed. Understand. <laughs> 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 we'll Thank get you. there. It seems yeah. like people are motivated to figure it out, and we'll figure it out. Tom, question for We would like very much for you to figure it out. Would it be good to have yeah. a board, or can you present on the screen for? Uh, you can things. present on the screen for me. Feel you for your laptop. Yeah, I have a laptop. Yeah. And it's an HDMI connection. Oh, to your foot. I have a. Just get on a Wi-Fi. Okay. Yeah. Your turn. That's all right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. I saw it disappearing. Uh, yeah, motion to unless there's other, other business to come before the board tonight, I would entertain a motion to adjourn, and I think I just heard it from Tour. Second. 